Hi everybody, welcome to uh, uh, welcome to our third in the series Jamaican Pet Shop Tour. This is our third and I have one more after this. Hopefully you will enjoy uh, both. Okay, so here I am at the Next to Nature Pets and Plants uh, store. So, uh, this store was over by another location where it was a little bit smaller but now it's at a larger location now uh you're seeing here uh a very large i think it's probably might be probably about a hundred gallon uh aquarium uh probably my estimation is wrong but i think it looks like an hundred gallon aquarium uh it it has a lot of coils in it uh coils ranges from from uh, uh, five inches to about probably about uh eight inches and they are small i'll show you some larger one in the incoming incoming moments now this is uh the rack of this um fish room I call it pet shop fish room really because this is a, a room dedicated it's unlike the first two it, it has a special room for the fish now the rack is made out of metal and the aquarium uh, varies in size from about 40 uh, gallon to roughly 55 75 and 100 gallon aquarium now you have the racks being made of metal and the tanks are being uh, filtered uh by uh air system not a uh, circulatory system as all you saw in uh number one and number two right and the aquariums do not have light the uh, roof light is on and the the aquarium itself uh, some of them are ev not even covered right uh the fish don't jump because a strategy used by the um proprietor right fishes look really cool and as i said in in uh, i think i said it in a video i'm not sure which one uh the the water is clear it is the painting on the wall that lets it look obscured right um and in the camera but so far it it, it is, is looking good to me right uh it the I think you have and uh you have several fish uh within this fish space uh, you have koi you have uh you don't see any jack dempsey uh you have some angels you have some egg scatterers you have some sharks <coughs> red tail sharks some bala sharks uh goldfish can leave out goldfish every pet shop in jamaica if you don't have uh uh, some goldfish is as if you don't have nothing right you have um, goldfish in different sizes different colors you also have some black moors and you also have some yellow labs yeah yellow labs and blue labs together right uh moving on i i, I noticed on the aquariums uh, uh, all aquariums have braces at the two ends right okay so and most if not all aquariums have a substrate right and as i said before uh they are filtered by air now the plants unlike the other um unlike the other pet shop in which we went by because it's we right uh, where you see the plants in different different aquarium this pet shop all plants are kept in one aquarium and you might have a one fish in it so as to eliminate the risk of mosquito actually breeding in that um that 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 space right uh is a little bit smaller well it's really smaller than the other two in which i've been to that's the space in which the fish actually occupies uh however uh the fish seems to be happy and they and and they are doing good right and it is that most most if not all tanks are not overstock only thing i'm, I'm kind of a little bit worried about is the, the 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 very first tank i came in and i saw where there's a lot of uh koi huddled together but if you notice in that aquarium um it's a very big aquarium but all of them uh together they are probably might say in their mind hey they are safety in numbers so as a result of that they just clam together 
right so there you are, have it you have two large aquariums and all of the fish are to one side right and they have another one right to the left of it it's the same thing um all of the fish to one side right uh it's a three rack system uh well really and truly it's yeah it's three racks uh i have a lower rack middle rack and a upper rack these are what they store their uh their beta fish in bottles glass bottles uh this is very it's a very large aquarium this looks like 100 plus uh, size and um, the last time i came here there were some uh large i think it was oscar uh koi in this uh aquarium right but the aquarium to my left it's very large okay let's go on the outside every pet shop in jamaica no matter how small you are you always carry some amount of medication some amount of uh equipment to help to ensure that the fish is kept healthy so here you have medication on the left and you also have some air pumps um supplies for your for your fish tank right uh when you look at the bottom shelf as i said in the i think it was number one uh video you have the different um type of stones and they are laid out according to size but one thing i like about this particular pet shop is that uh let's say well not let's say one bag of of gravel is for a thousand dollars right however if you want to put some gravels in a gravel if you want to put some gravel in a little um, bottle uh you can get a small amount to buy and i think that's really economical right this uh pet shop the owner the proprietor actually makes aquarium now this is the racks with the different feeds in which this uh pet shop actually carries now outside and you'll see why these bird feeds uh play an integral role in this pet shop it's a lot a variety of um, bird feed right and over on the flip side of this uh aisle you have fish feed yeah fish feed you have practically three types of fish feed uh you have flakes you have some i think they call it aqua something on the side I'm, honestly i don't know then you have koi stick and then you have some others you also have the the ones in that are in nice little sealed containers probably in which uh where you are at you might end up purchasing those at tetra you have some tetra gold and so you have different different type of feed uh also the proprietor for this uh establishment makes aquariums it makes stand and all aquariums have a cover unlike the first um, pet shop tour where you get the the tank you get the base but you don't get a cover you have to make that yourself all right this fridge actually houses some amount of cut plants and let's go outside to see why these cut, cut plants are in the fridge now as i said in i think in one of my videos that all pet shops in Jamaica are coupled with something else right so this pet shop is coupled with garden supplies so here you have uh, a lot of plants um, plant, different variety of plants and if you look up well, if you notice you, you realize that I'm outside but the place is like a little bit shady that's because this is like a greenhouse a special shade cloth is placed over this area so as to allow the plants to get the amount of sunlight in which it needs but not too much right so you have different plants out here i asked the proprietor whether or not uh the he had any plant that can actually um be placed to so be submerged in water he said that he did not have any at the moment i know that um potos the same thing that we in jamaica call creeper would be excellent right so uh this is the plant setting so if you want plants this is it uh this pet shop also have a large pond plastic pond in the middle of the pet shop i snuck my gopro in the, the in the in the pond and i took some amount some seconds of 
that this large fish actually swimming right? these coys are like between seven to probably about twenty at thousand dollars per one or uh, even more they're very huge right also coupled with the garden and the fishing uh, you'll have birds remember inside i had said that there's a reason why these this shelf has a lot of bird um feed you now you have different type of bird consume different type of feed so therefore this uh this pet shop actually supply feed for every bird that it actually sells now i like i like the arrangement of this um this this pet shop how it's actually stores its bird all the birds are actually stored in a one cage um system where it's, it's not like in a small com, small little area and what this does is to allow them the proprietor to get the birds to actually breed so it uh, you find that it, it limits the amount of bird that he actually purchases from the outside because the birds are in a space and this space allows them to intermingle with each other being a little bit more relaxed so they are able to um to reproduce now not only this fish not only does this uh, pet shop sell fish but they also sell uh, birds such as uh, finch they also sell pigeon they also sell uh, uh, different different type of bird love bird um, parrots to name a few I, honestly I don't I don't know the name right and they have a lot of plants a lot of plants and this, as i can see next to nature have actually outdone itself because this is a new location and so far it looks really awesome I have the pots arranged in in a nice little order you know, if you want a nice potted plant in your house your veranda outdoor you can go there you can actually and get that pot and you can get the material to put in the pot and you can get the plant itself right it's a very very awesome place thank you very much for watching thank you very much for your time do have a wonderful day rally here number three jamaican pet shop tour bye bye for now